Hello, this is Gary the Coconut bringing you another StarCraft II replay. This is a game between Herbs, 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 and Sokol Nikki. And Sokol Nikki has sent me games in the past before, and he is up to his shenanigans again. Always being the troublemaker, this guy. Making Bronze League look like a joke. All right, the scout is going down, and Ursp is Ursp is going in the Ursp is I don't know why that's so hard to say. He did scout in the wrong direction, as we all should know by this point. On the StarCraft II ladder, Blizzard has removed this as a spawning location in close position on Shakira's plateau. On Shakira's, I don't know how to say this. And he did finally find his opponent. However, whoa, whoa, whoa! All right. All right, what I miss? So cool, Nicky doing his shenanigans again. I tell you, this guy. All right, doing his scouting. Oh, looks fine and dandy to me. Being a little bit pesky, and he throws down a hatchery into another hatchery into Evo Chamber. Ouch! Ouch! Let's look at uh. How much it's cost him so far? 600 minerals for a little bit of cheese. And the uh, Terran player, he's like, no problem. I'll just continue my wall off. I don't know if any units can fit in between there. I think they can. Yeah, definitely. So that did disrupt the wall. I think this is a natural response to go ahead and kill it. However, I don't think it's the best response. I think what this Terran player should do is to continue to play as normal and continue to wall off these gaps instead of letting, oh, instead of letting the Broodlings in, which killed everything. Four units lost, and we've got some Zerglings on the way. So, and the wall off was able to complete. So not sure if all that cheese was worth it, Definitely interesting to watch, though. And he, this Terran player is going to three racks, probably doing some rushing. And, uh... Oh. It was nice of him to let him in like that. But the Zerglings weren't able to keep that... Kill those Marines. And Terran players... He does have his Orbital Command. There we go, getting the gas. He could be doing... A lot more than this I think but back in the Zergling base he does have some Marines coming his way and let's see if he's prepared for it looking at the units tab uh, we've got two Zerglings not prepared oh never mind 14 and in the production he is getting speed and some more Zerglings and the Zerglings are going to attack the Marines no problem no problem and speed just kicked in very good and he's going to be able to pick off these reinforcements that are misrallied. That is ouch. Just sidestepping out of there. Reinforcing this wall. I like to see this. This is nice. Just reinforcing it. Who cares about all this? Just reinforce. He's running up. He does have his bangling nest. Shouldn't be a problem. It looks like he's going to go for a bangling. Oh, just... Urzb is so well-mannered. He just lets the Zerglings in. All right, that obviously isn't going to work now that this wall has been reinforced right here and here. Who cares that the Zerglings could just get in here? Oh, just keep reinforcing. It'll work out. Oh, is this on hold? Oh, I just like it so much. And the Banglings come in. Are they going to be able to do much? Oh, very much. Huge supply block. And he does get in. So Kolniki is doing a lot of damage. There are just pro or uh, just SCVs now. And Urz believes the game. He did look like it wasn't going so well for him with that huge supply block. Well, thanks to So Kolniki for sending me this replay. I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too. Let me know what you guys think of this strategy. If you use it and if you try it, let me know if you think it's very good. I uh, I have never tried it. I don't really want to. 
I, uh, yeah, that's just me though. So, this is Gary the Coconut, and if you have any fun replays that you want to send me, please do at bestofbronze.gmail.com, and if I like them, I will cast them, and that's it. But that's okay, because he can just lift off the building and fly it somewhere else. He, yeah, he can, he can just lift it off.